Whatever you would like to start, Mr. Chair. Great. I'm going to call it to order. Um, and I guess first item here I see is welcoming uh, a new member to the commission. And I believe that's Josh Gold, right? Yes, sir. Anything you want to say, Josh? How'd you get roped into this? Maybe Joe's fault. <laughs> Joe, Joe asked me to, to join in. I've been doing a bunch of stuff around the community for a long time, so I figured what the heck was one more thing. My wife doesn't like to see me that much anyways. <laughs> you know this is being recorded. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> good good okay well great well welcome on board um it's good to have another face i know we've uh always been looking for new members and um any particular interest you have in regard to the tree commission anything you're looking for or i mean I, I a big area for me is wakefield valley obviously um just because we live fairly close to that and kids and i go walking but i also know there's going to be a lot of development there and i do a lot of work with youth sports in the area so anything I can do to help push the agenda of actually getting fields added back on that we're taking back off is always, is always helpful. Gotcha. For the Wakefield Valley area, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially. Yeah, good, good. Okay, um, I guess any um, thing else we need to add, Andrew, or are you good? No, sir. Okay, well, moving on, um, does anyone, any questions about the uh, minutes from last meeting back in March? Hearing none, does anybody want to make a motion to approve the minutes? I guess I will if I can. You cannot, Eric. Sorry. All right. We are Is, not, we are non-voting members. No help for me then. Sorry. I was going to go with Eric. He's a big friendly face. I wasn't there, but sure, I will. <laughs> okay. How about a second? Sure, second. Good. That sounded like Tim. It was. Thank you. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. Okay. Um, old business. How about I'm going to leave this up to Andrew. Um, review of the uh, city comprehensive plan. Yes, sir. Thank you, Chair Allgaier. I uh, just wanted the commission um, every year um, and, and during our March meeting. Um, I requested that the commission review the city of Westminster comprehensive tree plan and make any comment of any possible changes for this meeting in June. Um, and after any changes are provided by the commission, we will subsequently provide a red line version of those changes during your September meeting for your review and approval. And that will then be sent to the mayor and common council for review and or adoption pursuant to the city code. Um, so the requests from city staff would be, planning staff requests the commission provide staff any changes to the comprehensive tree plan so we can edit and bring back any such changes before the commission in September to be approved and subsequently sent to the mayor and common council to be reviewed and or adopted pursuant to the city code. If you have any questions, Mr. Chair, I am here to answer them. Thank you. Uh, no, I, I think you covered it. Um, I know I looked through it just about an hour ago. Um, the only thing I wasn't clear on, and I didn't know if we could add, but I'm assuming we're, we're gonna be doing this, is a survey, and I, I talked with you the other day about this, a possible survey of canopy coverage throughout the city and how it's changed. And that doesn't need to necessarily be monthly or anything, but maybe each time we review the comprehensive plan, which I think is once a year. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you, Drew. Sorry, I'm on mute. Uh, that is correct. We um, I bring the, this plan in front of the commission once a year just to see if there's any changes you would like to make. Yeah, and I, I didn't know if we could add in some way somehow have a i'm assuming we'll have an updated inventory but do we have our inventory doesn't convert to canopy coverage in other words how much area our trees are covering right now we do not have that the i think you're and please correct me if i'm wrong mr chair you're speaking about the um the ndv 
I, the natural veget, nash, nash, nah, natural vegetative <laughs> index that was part of my master's thesis that uh, yeah, it Marilyn was great. I thought, yeah, I think that's pretty powerful. <clears throat> What I can do is I can get in contact with the program director down at Towson University to see if we can still get those um, that information through Maryland View. Great. Okay, that would be helpful if, if we could. Yes, so. I, I will. I'll, I'll ask. Um, I'll just inquire to see if that's possible. Right. Okay. Any other comments from anybody else on the commission or Eric or? Questions? I heard a voice. Not really. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was me. I am here. This is Cindy. Hey, Cindy. And hey, how are you guys doing? Good, good. Enjoying the heat. And Mr. Chair, if I may. Yeah, good. <laughs> let me rename Sandy, or sorry, Sam and Cindy. Um, I, I did not know which one was which. Um, let me rename oh. <laughs> them. Cindy. All right. Great. Okay. Um, I guess then we're ready to move on to the beneficial insect release. Oh. And Mr. Chair, if I may. So just to be clear, there's no recommended changes from the tree commission except to check to see if I can get the updated um, information from uh, Towson University. Yeah, and if that could possibly be a yearly update so that we could then see where we need to beef up or encourage more tree planting or, or less. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Okay, Eric, you're on for the 2020 or 2021 beneficial insect release. All right. Um, just talked with Paul from Bartlett here probably about an hour ago. He's trying his best to get here to attend the meeting, but he had to do some estimates for some storm damage from the other day. Um, but the bug release, they have, they are doing their thing, as he likes to say, and uh, <laughs> we're due to get the bugs like the th well, third week of July. So right now we're kind of looking anywhere from July 12th through the 14th uh, to do the bug release. Great. Okay, that's good. He said it's not going to be fifty thousand like it was the past times. It's going to be like five thousand. So that's still a pretty decent number. Great. Okay, and I guess then close to that date, it'll be announced the location and time and all that. Yep, and I'm going to try to work with see if uh, talk with Abby and see if any of the camp kids will be able to attend this time and uh, maybe get involved with that. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, good. That's fun. Yeah. So that's all I have on the bug release. Okay, great. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Um, I guess uh, Paul's not here. So will we have an update for new business on the tree workshop? Uh, I got a little more info on that too from him, just in case good. he did. Um, right now, you said everything's going as planned. They have five people that already have registered for the event. Um, that's pretty much all he has right now. Uh, he's waiting to hear back from, uh, I guess, the ISA to see how many credits we'll get for uh, that event for the people who need the credits. Did he say anything about um, speakers for the event um, yet? I think it's mainly in-house speakers that they have lined up. I know he said something about uh, a couple from their uh, their labs. Yeah. Okay. Wanted to uh, do a seminar on stuff. And does anybody have the date for this? Right. 
I don't know if you have that, Drew, or if you got that, Eric. The dates, um, Eric, do you know the specific dates? Um, I want to believe- Friday that... in October. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the first Friday, right? Yes, first Friday in October. Right. It's the okay. second of October, I'm not sure. And Sam, you're not getting the any of the registration that's all going through Bartlett. That's correct. I did send out the invitation. I sent out the save the date. I sent out the invitation. I am fielding a few emails from past participants uh, who have questions about CEU credits and whether or not they have to sign up more than once if it's going to be a group. I'm just connecting those people with Brandy at Bartlett so that she can answer their questions. And so far they've been answered and people are happy about it happening again. Great, okay, that's good. Good, yeah, I think a lot of people are looking forward to that. It's been a, what, a two year hiatus. So that'll that'll be nice to get back in. And um, there's no plan on having it virtually for this year. Got it. Will tree commission members need to sign up if they want to? How, how will that work? I can answer that one too. If you need CEUs, you will have to sign up with Bartlett. But in terms of cost, I'm not sure that that has been determined yet because I know in the past, city staff and um, tree commission members have been allowed to attend free of charge because of our involvement with planning. Okay. So reach out to Paul or send me an email and I can forward it to Brandy and we'll find out about getting whoever wants to be involved registered so that at least you can participate and then we'll figure out if the city has to bear any of that cost. Gotcha, great, okay, thank you. Okay. Sure thing. Okay, any other comments on uh, the tree uh, workshop? I just want one more mention because I didn't think I'd be able to be on the call, but um, I can be. So um, when I sent out the meeting or the, uh, save the dates. I got a handful of returns, maybe less than 10. Um, and then when I sent out the actual registration information with the costs, um, I got less than six bounce backs. So um, the ones that the ones that came back, some of them were retired. Um, yeah. Some of them had left the organization anyway, and some of them had please forward the information to their successor. So uh, wherever I could, I reached out to the organization to get new uh, person information to send that to so that we weren't um, missing anybody. Got it. Okay. <laughs> if, if I have any like potential contacts, can I forward those emails to you? Yes, please. And then I will put them in contact with Brandy, but at least I can put them on my mailing list as well. Got it. Okay, good. Thanks. Okay. Any last comments for uh, the, for the uh, workshop? No? Okay. Okay, hearing, hearing none, um, commission comments, kind of open floor for us. Any any of the new commissioners or old commissioners want to chime in? Do we have new commissioners? We do. <laughs> yes. Did I, miss, um, did I miss something? You may have. It's, it's uh, go ahead, Josh, you can say it. Wait, and she can't see me. That's good. Hi, uh, I'm Josh. <laughs> Josh Gold. It goes both goes both ways. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, so we're we're celebrating this today. We we have a new commissioner, and that's great. Josh doesn't know what he's in for, but uh, hopefully he'll enjoy it. Um, the only thing I needed to add was um, first I, I want to thank Drew for taking me on a tour of the new uh, city administrative office. That was great, and that's where I mentioned with him just kind of a, a gut reaction that I thought some areas were losing some canopy coverage. And it would be great to try and encourage 
some replanning and some of this is unfortunately out of our hands. Um, we just don't, you know, we, a, a lot of this is on private property. So I guess with storms and trees aging out, it's tough to get people to replant. Um, but if anybody has ideas on how to encourage more public engagement, especially when it comes to planting trees, it would be great. Um, I know there's some ideas going on about Wakefield Valley, at least along the stream corridor and getting some stream, uh, trees in. But again, if you guys come up with any ideas on ways to get people to plant trees or areas that trees need to be planted, I'm all ears and quite sure Drew and, and Eric are interested too. Any other uh, comments from the commission? Okay, hearing none, I guess I'm gonna turn this over to Drew for staff comments. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And Mr. Chair, um, with you mentioning that, I did pull up the NDVI and the, L the land surface temperature maps in the comprehensive city comprehensive tree plan that were obtained, obtained through uh, Maryland View um, with the dates of 1985, 94, 2007 and 2017, um, and you can see the um, vegetative re vegetated versus urban land cover in Westminster with the city of Westminster um, incorporated city um, highlighted, and then the land surface temperature of the city of Westminster as well. Huh. And then I guess just my comments, I believe I mentioned at the last meeting that the city of Westminster was once again, a tree city USA. We are also, we got the, uh, the green award as well. Um, the highest level in the uh, people loving and nurturing trees program through the Maryland uh, forest service. Uh, and that's would be in the um, department of natural of natural resources. Yeah. And that is all I have, Mr. Chair. Anybody else on the staff want to chime in? Last minute things. Um, I, on your, Sam, I do have one thing when when Eric's done. Go ahead, Eric. Steve, on your uh, ideas for trying to get people to plant trees, I uh, know we've done in some of our uh, events that we had, we did offer it out like uh, little whips yeah, of yeah. trees, but mm -hmm. maybe if we did a little program just for the city residents, not open. Remember the one guy came in from Hampstead or something like that. He wanted like all the oak trees that we had <laughs> to go take home. Um. <laughs> so maybe line something up that's for the city residents, you know. Yeah, yeah, no. What's our, can, could, it, could you coordinate it or would it be too much? I'm just trying to think what other city, you know, if you somehow linked it to or had it in conjunction with other some other city event, my initial thought was fall fest, but that I know is crazy on other levels. It's good tree the beginning of tree planting season. Um, you know, I'm thinking if you're encouraging people to plant trees, you want to do it. You don't want to do it in the middle of July. Yeah, no, it's, it's a tough, tough one. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I talked with some of the other local cities on things they did and it's everybody kind of scratches their head on that one. Um, so mm. it's a hard one. Okay, I mean, have something we can try to look into, see what we can come up with. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And Sam, you're gonna add something. Yes, as long as I don't lose cell service. Um, had a brief conversation with uh, Eric's boss last weekend um, regarding the open tree pit in front of the Carroll Arts Center. They are looking to potentially put a little free library in that tree pit so that we don't have to just concrete it over because we can't put another tree in there due to, I believe, a gas line is what Steve thought it was. Um, it's a, so it's they're a, looking to yeah, utilize that. And water line there. And that tree pit okay. has been removed. It's been filled in. Oh, okay. Well, then never but mind. There's still, there's still a spot there where the gas and water uh, valves are. So technically, we could still put something there in the section that doesn't have that in it. 
Ah, okay. Well, then never mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a cool tree sculpture. Uh, yeah, something. Yeah, I can't get, to what you're build it in the shape of a tree, and the shelves <laughs> are the branches. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing the number of old tree pits where trees have been removed. It, also have the gas line or electric or wood or whatever. Right, right. It's like, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I found I found oh, the wow. gas line or the gas cap and the water cap uh, the hard way with the stump grinder. Yeah, yeah, that's no fun. Oh, Ooh. oh, <laughs> that is so. the hard way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, last call for comments. I guess hearing none, do I need a motion to adjourn, Drew, or? Yes, sir. Okay, it's up to you guys. I can't do it. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Okay, I hear that from Cindy? Yes, yep. sir. Okay, our newest member, great, thank you. Um, okay, see you guys next meeting. <laughs>